Hey everybody, and welcome to Dev Marketer. I'm your host, J.A. Curtis, and you guys can call me Alex. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a quick Laravel tip. I wanna start doing a lot more of these little quick tips where it's just like we cover one tiny thing. We don't need to make a big project, just covering one little tiny thing. We don't need to make all series out of it, just cover the one tiny thing. So we're gonna call them Laravel quick tips. And uh, this is gonna be the first one. And normally they will be probably more advanced than this. This is like the easiest of easy uh, videos that I'll probably ever make, but it's how to add Font Awesome to Laravel. And you might wonder why am I even making a video about this? Because some of you guys that might know how to do it are thinking this is really, really simple. It is really simple, but there's a lot of people that don't know how to do it because I get an email probably once a week of someone asking how to do it. So I know there's a lot of people wanting to know how to do it. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it. Simple as that, it's really easy, it'll only take a minute, and um, that's basically it. So let me, let's me let go ahead and just get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do, first of all, is we're gonna start a new Laravel project. Now, you are probably, um, if you're working on this, you're obviously adding it to an existing project, so you don't need to make a new project. But I'm just gonna go ahead and add one because I don't um, have one set up yet. So we're just gonna call it Font Awesome. And so it's Laravel new font awesome. I'm putting it in my sites folder. We're gonna build the application real quick. And then um, that's what we'll use to kind of, to show off this font awesome. Again, this is super easy guys. You guys are gonna kick yourselves once you realize how easy it is. But I get this question so many times. And so I just figure I make a video. And if anyone asks again, I link you to the video. Okay, so it looks like our application's done. Let's get, let's, um, we can just open it up, I guess. Let's CD into font awesome, sublime it up. And then um, let's actually go ahead and open up sub, uh, Font Awesome in the uh, browser. So over here, we're going to go to Font Awesome.io is apparently what it is. And then we're going to um, download the Font Awesome thing. So let's see. Nope, just download Font Awesome. That's all we need. We're going to go and open it up, unzip it. All right, now once you're in here, it's pretty simple. So I've it's just a zipped it's just a zipped file. It's under this font awesome with the version number, and inside here you're going to find a, a few folders: a CSS folder, a fonts folder, and then your less and CSS preprocessors. Okay, so what you need to do now is you just need to move these files into your Laravel project. Pretty straightforward. Let me show you where to put them. Side note here is unless you plan on changing these, you really don't need the CSS, CSS or the less. So these files right here, you really don't need. Um, these are the preprocessors, so unless you're planning on changing something and then reprocessing it, you really don't need those. So what I usually do is just take the CSS and just take the fonts and call it a day. All right. So I'm just going to go and go ahead and do that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab the um, the CSS, throw that over here. I'm just this just kind of lets me pop it, put it somewhere temporarily, and then we're going to grab the fonts and we're just going to put all of them over there as well. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is let's head on over to sites and I'm gonna find the project, uh, Font Awesome right here. And we're gonna head on into the public folder of our Font Awesome Laravel project. And inside of here, there's nothing really um, here yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a folder for our CSS. And then we're gonna create a folder for, if you had your JavaScript, you'd have a folder for that. And then you would have another folder for your fonts, okay? It's just this public folder is where you save all the assets for your project. Okay, so let's move our fonts into this fonts folder. So they're all right here. We'll just move those over. And then our CSS file can go into our CSS document. So it's right here. So we've got our CSS, we got our fonts. And now if we go back over to our project, we'll see the same thing. Let's go under fonts. We got our, all of our font awesomes. Under CSS, you're good to go with font awesome. Now the only thing left is basically linking up the style sheet and, um, and using it. So let me show you how to do that. So. Now we're gonna go over to, okay, so you're gonna find your views, it's under resources and views, and then you'll just put it in the top of your views. Now normally I'd suggest putting this in your main template file, so like your app.blade.php or your main.blade.php, whatever you call it, the kind of the, the main template that every single page is extended from. That's where I would suggest putting it, and that way it's available on every single page. However, in this case, we're just gonna throw it on this welcome.blade.php, because that's the only page we have, the view, okay? So once you're in here, you can basically, you're just gonna link to the CSS, just like you already see right here. So we're linking to a Google API for the Lato font or the Lato font. Let's go ahead and copy this link, paste it here, so we're doing it twice. And then what we're gonna do is just change the URL. So the URL is gonna go to a different style sheet. 
And in this case, we're gonna link to the font awesome style sheet, okay? So the files, the style sheet is under public, CSS, and font-awesome.css. Now here's the trick on how you get to that, uh, to you get to that file. Just open up your blade. You're gonna use a helper called asset, um, asset, and then you're just gonna link to it. This asset basically gives you the URL for the public folder and then looks within the public folder. So you just need to give it a string where to look after it gets to the public folder. So in the public folder, we just need to go to the CSS and then to fontawesome.css. So let's do that, CSS slash font-awesome.css, just like that. Okay, so we save that. Now we should be linked to it. Now the last thing to do is just, um, we just need to go down to and actually like reference it. So let's come down here. We're gonna make an icon, give it a class of FA and then FA, the name of your icon. So I know there's one called FA lock. It just makes like a little, a little padlock. So we'll use that one because I know about it. And we'll just put this underneath the, the title. Come on over, let's launch the server. I've got the server running in the background here. So let's just go to um, localhost 8000. And sure enough, you can see down here that we're using it right there. And if we view the page source, you can see that we have a link to the file um, right here. So it goes to our, our CSS document. You click it, you can see the whole CSS document. So we're good to go. Okay, so it's really, really simple. That's basically all there is to it, guys. Thanks for staying tuned. Um, I hope you learned a lot today. If you're wanting to learn more about Laravel and you found this useful, you enjoyed me as a teacher, I've got a huge series about Laravel, getting started with Laravel, where we go from absolute beginners, installing Laravel, on up, making a full-fledged blog application. It's really cool. It gets pretty advanced. It's super detailed. So if you're learn, if you're wanting to learn Laravel, it's the way to do it, I promise. I'm gonna give you a link for that in the description, or you can click the annotation on the screen and head on over there. Um, I think you'll really, really enjoy it. For everything else, you guys can reach out to me on Twitter. My um, my uh, username on Twitter is underscore J-A-C-U-R-T-I-S. It's J-A Curtis. Under Don't forget the underscore at the beginning. That's basically it for today. Um, hope you found this, this useful, and I will see you guys next time.